Hey, good morning. It's Dr. James. I do hope this message finds you and your loved ones peaceful, safe, and well. And this morning I woke up extra early and I was praying and I said, God, you know what? I would really, really love if you could help me to love on my community, our community, and do it in a way that really, really hits us all where we live today to help us to galvanize yet another evolution of our hope and our inspiration and our strength and our empowerment because we all need it. This is... Um, this is a really, really difficult time, and the time continues where you don't know which day it is, you're wondering if you're coming, you're going, and if you're not a person who's on the front lines in medicine or out in the grocery world and the food service and delivery world and post office and all those spaces that are literally keeping us moving forward, keeping us alive on many levels and with many this is a time that the rest of us who may be spending more time at home than we ever thought we'd ever have, and you've already cleaned the pantry, you've organized the closet, you got the garage looking awesome, and now you're saying, all right, what else can I do? Well, this is a study for you and I to help us to use this time to really be more of a beneficial presence on the planet when you're wondering what you could be doing. And I'm gonna share this study because this is an answer to prayer because I love you and I want you to really feel like there is a little bit of time, even just a few minutes a day, that you're carving out to do something really, really cool based on this study. And this is cool because I'm calling this Curiosity is Cool. Because my wife and I have been, uh, we didn't even know this study existed, but a few weeks ago, she started doing sign language training online with a dear friend, and I started learning Spanish online, and so I'm putting some energy into that. And then this study came across after I was praying this morning, and I was like, oh my gosh, you guys are going to love this, because you're probably probably learning something new. Maybe you're, you're, you're experimenting with your dance moves with TikTok, and you're doing that with your kids, your grandchildren, or you're just doing it yourself because you're like, man... I gotta find some way to be creative and curious and learn something new. Well, gosh, you know what? This is amazing. The Journal of Health Psychology came out and talked about how doing something with our curiosity, and they kind of broadly uh, define this as saying, learning something new, doing something with art, being vulnerable by not being perfect, and expanding your horizons by investigating something you've always wanted to do and finally gave yourself time to do it. Because many of us, have more time than we ever thought we ever would ever have in our life. We're not commuting, we're not on airplanes, we're, we're just gaining, if you will, at least five minutes, in some cases, hours each day. So here's what they found out. They did a study of a thousand people. So it's a big study between the ages of 50 and 86. So this is more for the baby boomer generation, but I think it applies to everyone because what they found out the more curiosity that we allow to expand and then employ by checking it out and learning about it or figuring out how we're going to use it to expand who we are as a human being, it actually lowers our risk for cancer, for heart disease, our risk for diabetes. And interesting enough, this study of a thousand people, it actually helped to extend their longevity and it, it, associated with their immune system function and their heart function and fighting inflammation. And basically, it all came down to these people were being asked what they were doing each and every day. And the ones who were pursuing what they were curious about, learning something new, being a student, um, you know, giving themselves an opportunity to go, hey, you know what? I've always wanted to learn fill in the blank. I've always wanted to figure out fill in the blank. I've always wanted to see whether or not I could and then fill in the blank. So please, Share what you're doing these days. What have you learned? What have you, where have you put yourself outside of your comfort zone? And what have you done to give yourself the opportunity to experience more coolness by expressing your curiosity? This study is such a time for all of us to step back and say, you know what? I do have a few more minutes and I would love to be doing something with my time and energy. Uh, I've done all the things around the house. I, I've spent spending lots of time with people and sometimes I need a little more private time and a little private time, maybe it's a time to investigate what it is that you have in your heart that you've always wanted to learn more about and then witness yourself following through. It could help you to fight cancer. It could help you lower inflammation and it could actually help you to live longer and stronger. So with that, Curiosity is cool. You are cool. And this is an opportunity to expand our horizons. So with that, much love, every blessing. Have a beautiful day. Bye for now.